Hi hello everyone welcome to session 4 in this session i am going to discussing about some non membrane bound organelles and membrane bound organelles the non membrane bound organelle ribosomes yes dear students uh, we know about uh, ribosomes ribosomes are commonly called as uh, protein factory because of uh, which helps in protein synthesis see these ribosomes are granular structure first observed under electron microscope as a dense particles which means compact particles in the year of in the year of 1953 by the scientist george palladi george palladi and these ribosomes are composed of RNA, which means ribonucleic acid, and some proteins. And these ribosomes are non-membrane bound organelle, which means not bounded by any membrane. The eukaryotic ribosomes are ATS type, and the prokaryotic ribosomes are 70S type. See, the both the ribosomes has uh, two subunits. One is larger subunits the one is smaller subunits here the ats type of subunits are one is 50s subunits another one is 40s subunits the 70s uh, subunits are one is 50s subunits that is the larger subunit and 30s subunits that is smaller subunit in prokaryotic sorry 70s ribosomes see here yes which means swedberg's unit swedberg's unit stands for sedimentation coefficient which means indirectly measure of density and size yes ribosomes are called protein factory because it helps in protein synthesis it composed of rna and proteins and it is non membrane bound organelle and first observed observed yes and first observed by the scientist george palladi in the year of 1953 and both ribosomes has two subunits one is larger subunits and smaller subunits both the prokaryotes and eukaryote has ribosomes in eukaryotes presence of 80s type of ribosomes in prokaryotes presence of 70s type of ribosomes yes which stands for swedberg's units stands for the sedimentation coefficient which means indirectly measure of density and size the next one is cytoskeleton yes see cytoskeleton is a uh, elaborate network filamentous and uh, proteinaceous structure consisting of microtubules and microfilaments microfilaments and intermediate uh, filaments in present in cytoplasm present in cytoplasm so these are collectively uh, referred as cytoskeleton yes cytoskeleton is a elaborate network proteinaceous structure consisting of microtubules microfilaments and intermediate filaments present in cytoplasm see these are all collectively referred as cytoskeleton see the function of the cytoskeleton is maintain the shape of cell maintain the shape of cell and also helps in motility which help which means movement so give mechanical support also give mechanical support yes these are all the functions of cyto skeleton yes the next one is section of cilia and flagella the students already we studied about cilia and flagella in the topic of cell envelope and cell modification here we are going to study the detailed internal structure of cilia and flagella yes see the cilia a singular cilium flagella flagellum see both are air like outgrowth from plasma membrane or cell membrane air like hair like outgrowth from plasma membrane or cell membrane 
Here, the cilia are small, which work like oars. Oars. Oars, and then we can see the oars. 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 Okay, so which works like oars, which helps to movement of cells and uh, surrounding fluids. Compared to cilia, the flatula is a longer one, which helps to uh, movement of cells. The both the prokaryotic bacteria and eukaryotic bacteria have flagella, but the prokaryotic bacteria flagella structure is different from eukaryotic flagella. The electron microscopic study of cilia and flagella show that they are covered by plasma membrane, and their core is called axonym. See core, which means center of cilia or flagellum. The electron microscopic study of cilia and flagellum shows that they are covered by plasma membrane and their core and the center, center of cilia and flagellum shows axonym. They possess a number of uh, uh, microtubules running parallel to the long axis. Usually the axonym possesses nine doublets of radially arranged peripheral microtubules. See we can observe here presence of nine peripheral radially arranged microtubules. Each microtubules are linked by interdoublates is also called linkers is also called linkers and a center center of cilia and flagella presence of two microtubules this is called central microtubules which is connected by bridge which is connected by a bridge and it is also enclosed by sheath that is called central sheath that is called central sheath yes central sheath so this is called a central sheath central sheath yes see axonym possesses nine doublets of radially arranged peripheral microtubules so these microtubules are interlinked by linkers or it's also called interdoublet and in center presence of a pair of central microtubules which is connected by bridge and it is also enclosed by central sheath okay see each peripheral microtubules are connected to attached to central sheath by the help of radial spoke yes by the help of radial spoke yes i will repeat the structure the, the microscopic study of cilia and flagella show that they are covered by plasma membrane and their core which means center of cilia and flagella uh, has many microtubules their core is called axonym possess a number of microtubules running parallel to the long axis usually the axonym shows nine doublets of radially peripheral arranged peripheral microtubules and presence of a pair of central microtubules which is connected by bridges and enclosed by central sheath so this arrangement is called 9 plus 2 arrangement 9 plus 2 arrangement and each peripheral tubules is connected by interdoublets is also called linkers and each peripheral microtubules are attached to central sheath by the help of radial spoke yes this is called radial spoke see the cilia and the flagella emerges from centrio like structure is called basal bodies is called basal bodies the both cilia and flagella emerges from centrio like structure is called basal bodies yes the next one is centrosomes and centriole See, the centrosomes also an organelle containing a two cylindrical like structure is called uh, centrioles, is called centrioles and they are covered by pericentriolar membrane or pericentriolar, pericentriolar material. See, which means it is a protein present in centrosomes and the both the centrioles lie perpendicular to each other and which organization is uh, looks like a cartwheel. Cartwell. Okay, the centrioles made up of nine evenly spaced peripheral fibrils of protein. 
peripheral fibrils of protein nine evenly spaced peripheral fibrils of protein see each fibrils is triplet see this is the fibril this is called a triplet each fibrils are triplet which means here presence of totally nine triplets presence of nine triplets and adjacently linked yes the central part of the proximal region of the centrioles is proteinaceous is called hub which is connected to tubules of peripheral fibrils with by radial spoke by radial spoke yes the function of uh, centrosomes and uh, centrioles which helps to uh, formation of uh, basal bodies formation of basal bodies basal bodies in uh, sorry here i will write here basal bodies in both uh, cilia and uh, flagella and it also helps to formation of spindle fibers formation of spindle fibers so these spindle fibers helps in attachment of uh, chromosomes during cell division yes so this is all about uh, centrosomes and uh, centrioles centrosomes uh, is a organelle containing two cylindrical like structure is called centriole and they are covered by the pericentriolar protein or pericentriolar material and each is centrioles uh, are cylindrical like structure lie perpendicular to each other and the organization of centriole looks like a cartwheel and each is centriole made up of nine evenly spaced peripheral fibrils of protein the one is yes, one peripheral fibril is a triplet totally presence of nine triplets nine triplets and yes, and the center part of the proximal region of the central is a proteinaceous is called hub which is connected with tubules of uh, peripheral fibrils by radial spoke by radial spoke yes the functions of centrosomes and centrioles which helps to formation of uh, basal bodies in uh, cilia and uh, flagella and also helps to formation of spindle fibers yes the next one is uh, nucleus dear students we know about nucleus already we discussed little information about uh, nucleus which means well organized nucleus which is covered by nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane see nucleus is also a uh, cell organelle membrane bound organelle and first described by the scientist robert brown robert brown in the era of 1831 later the nucleus is uh, stained by the basic dyes basic dyes and given name as chromatin by the scientist fleming by the scientist fleming interface nucleus interface uh, which means in this uh, phase or stage the nucleus is not going to divide and shows elaborate network nuclear protein is called chromatin is called chromatin is called chromatin yes see nucleus is a membrane bound organelles presence of outer nuclear membrane and inner nuclear membrane so these are all collectively called as nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane and in between the outer membrane and uh, inner membrane presence of space that space is called perinuclear space which is 10 to 15 nanometer 10 to 15 nanometer and the discontinuous of uh, nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope presence of pore that pore is called nuclear pore nuclear pore yes. nuclear pore see that nuclear pore which is a barrier to the uh, both uh, cytoplasm and nucleoplasm see so this is nucleoplasm and this is cytoplasm the pore which helps to transportation of uh, both uh, rna and proteins between both the cytoplasm and uh, nucleoplasm next to the inner membrane presence of a uh, nucleoplasm that nucleoplasmatic shows 
a elaborate network irregularly arranged nucleoprotein that is called chromatin that is called chromatin and presence of a spherically arranged or oval shaped structure that is called nucleolus see nucleolus is the active site of ribosomal rna active site of ribosomal rna and some proteins and some proteins so these are all about uh, nucleus structure during cell division the chromatin thread which is condensed to form chromosomes cell division aguvaga the chromosomes sorry the chromatin thread enagutte condensed to form chromosomes condensed to form chromosome and the cell nucleus shows chromosomes uh, contain dna and some uh, basic proteins that is called uh, histones and the cell nucleus also shows non histone proteins and some rna rna see see in homo sapiens a presence of uh, totally 46 chromosomes which means uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes the single human cell has 2 meters of dna human cell has 2 meters of dna see the chromosomes maintain the both uh, genotype and uh, phenotype which means uh, genetic characteristics and uh, phenotypic characteristics during cell division the chromatin thread condensed to form chromosomes condensed to form chromosomes see uh, every chromosomes are visible uh, during uh, cell division and each uh, chromosomes has a primary construction primary construction that is called centromere that is called centromere by the help of uh, centromere each uh, chromatids are attached so this is called uh, uh, chromatids is called chromatids and the, the centromere is covered by a disc shaped protein a disc shaped protein is called kinetochore is called kinetochore see this are all about uh, chromosome yes see uh, based on position of uh, centromere the chromosomes are divided into four types one is metacentric submetacentric acrocentric and citelocentric see these are all four types of uh, chromosomes uh, classified based on their position of uh, centromere uh, based on position of centromere centromere the chromosomes are divided into four types the first one is metacentric see here the centromere metacentric chromosome here the centromere located at the center of chromatids so the chromosome shows two equal arms two equal arms equal length of arms so this is called metacentric meta which means center so here the centromere present in center of chromatids the next one is submetacentric submetacentric see here in this uh, submetacentric chromosomes uh, the centromere present slightly away from the center which means uh, above the center we can observe presence of one is uh, short arm another one is long arm so this is called this is called submetacentric chromosome and the next one is acrocentric acrocentric chromosomes in this uh, uh, chromosome the centromere present near end of the chromosome here one is short arm another one is long arm so this is called acrocentric 
the last one is telocentric telocentric chromosome see here the centromere present at the terminal part of the chromosome so this is called telocentric one is extremely short another one is long arm see these are all types of chromosomes based on the position of centromere yes the first one is metacentric which means the centromere located at the center of the chromosomes center of the chromosomes and submetacentric which is slightly away from the center of the chromosomes this is called submetacentric and acrocentric here near the end of chromosomes the centromeres are located and telocentric at the terminal part of the chromosomes the centromere is present which shows extremely short arms and uh, long arms so these are all about uh, uh, based on uh, position of centromere the types of chromosomes yes sometimes a few chromosomes shows a non staining uh, secondary structure at a constant location and this gives the appearance of small fragment this is called satellite yes the last one is micro bodies see a uh, micro body uh, many membrane bound uh, small vesicles and this contain enzymes and uh, present in both plants and animal cells so this is all about uh, micro bodies the students in this session we had discussed about uh, ribosomes or the protein factories and it which is present in both the prokaryotes and eukaryotes in eukaryotes 80s type and the prokaryotes 70s type both are divided into uh, larger subunits and a smaller subunit yes which stands for sweatbox units and cytoskeleton is a elaborate network filamentous proteinous structure consisting of microtubules microfilaments and intermediate filaments so these are all present in cytoplasm collectively referred as cytoskeleton and the function is motility Uh, to maintain the shape and mechanical support and the next uh, electron microscopic study of uh, cilia and flagella which shows uh, nine uh, radially arranged peripheral microtubules connected by linkers and the center two pair of uh, microtubules are arranged this arrangement is called uh, 9 plus 2 their core is called axonium and the both uh, cilia and flagella uh, emerges from central like structure is called basal bodies and centrosomes and centrioles centrosomes are the organelle contained two cylindrical like structure centrioles so these centrioles and the centrosome help to formation of basal bodies in the cilia and the flagella and the formation of spindle fibers and the nucleus is also a membrane bound cell organelle first described by the scientist robert baum later studied by the scientist fleming using basic dyes and presence of outer nuclear membrane and inner nuclear membrane in between a perinuclear space that is uh, 10 to 15 nanometer and inside the nucleoplasm presence of chromatin thread and a spherical structure that is called a nucleus that is called nucleolus which is the active which is the active site for ribosomal rna and some proteins and during cell division the chromatin thread condenses to form chromosomes each chromosomes so the primary construction is called centromere and yes and which is covered by disc shaped structure is called a kinetochore this is a special protein and based on the position of the centromere the chromosomes are divided into four types metacentric submetacentric acrocentric and telocentric and micro bodies are the membrane bound small vesicles is present in both the plants and animal cells contain enzymes thank you